Welcome to Who Died Today America, where we remember and honor the lives of those who have passed and celebrate the incredible legacies they've left behind. So, sit back and join us as we commemorate their lives and legacies that will live on forever. And if you find our content meaningful, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons to stay updated on our latest videos. Irma Serrano, also known as La Tigressa, left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry in Mexico. Starting as a dancer in the early 1960s, Serrano went on to become a renowned singer of traditional Mexican ranchero music and folk ballads. Her hits included Quincian Don Prezo, La Motina, and El Amor de La Paloma. Serrano was also an accomplished actress, appearing in movies such as Santo vs. the Zombies and La Tigressa, which earned her the nickname that she was known by. In 1994, she turned to politics and was elected to the Mexican Senate, serving until 1997. Serrano was famous for her striking appearance and rumored romantic relationship with former Mexican President Gustavo Díaz Ordaz, which she confirmed in her memoir A Calzona Maradu. On March 1, 2023, Serrano passed away at the age of 89 from a heart attack. Her legacy will continue to inspire as a trailblazer in the entertainment industry and a symbol of women's empowerment in Mexican politics. Her dramatic looks and high-profile personal life made her an adored and unforgettable figure to her fans. Tributes to Irma Serrano Chuck Jackson, a talented R&B singer who made his name in the 1960s, passed away on February 16 at the age of 85. Chuck Jackson began his music career as part of the Dell Vikings in the late 1950s. He later went solo and had his first big hit in 1961 with I Don't Want to Cry. Jackson was one of the first singers to record a song by famous songwriter Burt Bacharach, I Wake Up Crying, that same year, he was known for his strong voice. Jackson's biggest hit, Any Day Now, peaked at No. 2 on the R&B chart and reached No. 23 on the Hot 100. He continued to release popular singles such as I Keep Forgetting and Tell Him I'm Not Home in the years that followed. Although he was briefly signed to Motown Records in the 1960s, he spent most of his career as an independent artist. Jackson's musical legacy lives on in his many hit songs and his contribution to the development of R&B music. Jackson's cause of death has not been disclosed. His passing comes just over a week after the death of Burt Bacharach. Chuck Jackson's distinctive voice and groundbreaking collaborations with Burt Bacharach have left an indelible mark on the R&B genre. His passing is a loss for music fans every way, but his legacy will live on through his timeless hits and enduring influence on generations of artists. Tributes to Chuck Jackson Judy Human died on March 4 at the age of 75. She was known as the mother of the disability rights movement. Human was born in Brooklyn in 1947. When she was 18 months old, she got polio, which put her in a wheelchair for the rest of her life. Human went to Camp Gend, a summer camp for disabled teens in New York. When she was in her teens, there, she was inspired to fight for the rights of disabled people. Judy Human's activism was a big reason why important laws like the Americans with Disabilities Act, the Rehabilitation Act, and the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act were made. Human sued the New York City Board of Education in 1970 because they wouldn't give her a teaching license because of her disability. This led to the schools in the city becoming more accessible for people who use wheelchairs. She also helped start the group Disabled in Action, worked on the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act and helped lead the 504 Sitin, which led to more children with disabilities being able to go to school. Human was the first director of the Department on Disability Services in Washington, D.C. He also gave advice to the World Bank and was President Boris Obama's special advisor for international disability rights at the U.S. State Department. The documentary Crip Camp, which was up for an Oscar and was made by Boris and Michelle Obama's company Higher Ground Productions, Focused on human's work and legacy, human was also a senior fellow at the Ford Foundation, 
and the host of a podcast called The Human Perspective. Her work has inspired a lot of people to keep fighting for the rights of people with disabilities. Tributes to Judy Human. Bernie Mattinson, an American animator and screenwriter, passed away on February 27, 2023, at the age of 87. Mattinson was a beloved figure in the animation industry, having worked for the Walt Disney Company for almost 70 years. He was honored as an inductee of the Disney Legends program in 2008, and his contributions to classics such as The Great Mouse Detective, Robin Hood, and Beauty and the Beast will continue to be enjoyed by audiences for generations to come. Despite a short illness, Mattinson's passing was a great loss to the animation community, who continue to celebrate his legacy. Tributes to Bernie Mattinson. Ted Donaldson, a former child star. He is well known for his roles as Cornelius Neely Nolan in the movie A Tree Grows in Brooklyn and as Bud Anderson in the original radio version of Father Knows Best. One of Donaldson's first major roles was in A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. He played a young boy growing up in an Irish-American family in New York City. He also headlined all late of the adventures of Rusty Children's films, where he played a boy who befriends a German shepherd dog named Rusty. Ted made his big screen debut in the 1944 fantasy comedy Once Upon a Time alongside Cary Grant and Janet Blair. Other movie credits included Mr. Winkle Goes to War, A Guy, A Gal and a Pal, Personality Kid, The Decision of Christopher Blake, and Phone Call from a Stranger. He also appeared on TV shows like Front Row Center, Matinee Theater, and The Silent Service. Ted Donaldson also starred in the Broadway productions of Life with Father and Sons and Soldiers. In 1949, he began starring as James Bud Anderson Jr. in the radio series Father Knows Best. He remained on the show until it moved to TV in 1954, but declined the offer to continue his role on TV, preferring not to play a teenager when he was already in his 20s. After leaving Father Knows Best, Ted only appeared in a handful of small roles. Later in life, he worked as an acting teacher and bookseller. Donaldson passed away on March 1st at the age of 89. Ted Donaldson leaves behind a lasting legacy in the world of entertainment. As a former child actor, he brought joy and entertainment to audiences through his memorable performances on stage, radio, and screen. His contributions to classic films like A Tree Grows in Brooklyn and Once Upon a Time will continue to be celebrated by generations to come. While he may no longer be with us, his talent and dedication to his craft will always be remembered. Tributes to Ted Donaldson. We believe that a healthy life is all about making the right choices, starting with what you put on your plate. That's why we're excited to offer you a free copy of 21 easy and healthy keto recipes you need to try a limited time offer from our sponsor. Don't miss out on this opportunity to kickstart your journey towards a happier, healthier you. Click the link in the description to claim your free book now. Steve Mackey, a talented record producer and bass guitarist for the English rock band Pulp. He passed away on March 2nd after spending three months in the hospital. He was 56 years old. Mackie joined Pulp in 1989, 10 years into the band's career, and was part of some of their biggest hits like Common People, Do You Remember the First Time, and Disco 2000. In addition to his role in the band, Mackie was a prolific producer who helped co-write and produce songs for artists like Marianne Faithfull, Florence Plus the Machine, and Arcade Fire. Mackie's creativity and talent also extended to the big screen where he and pulp bandmate Jarvis Cocker appeared as members of the fictional wizard rock group The Weird Sisters in the 2005 film Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Stephen Patrick Mackey, born on November 10, 1966, will be deeply missed by his fans and the music industry.
his contributions to music and film will continue to be celebrated for years to come. Tributes to Steve Mackey. Sarah Lane, a famous actress known for her role as Elizabeth Granger in the TV series The Virginian, passed away on March 3, 2023, at the age of 73 due to breast cancer at her home in Napa, California. Lane had a long career in acting and was even featured in commercials as a baby. She got her big break after a producer saw her photo in the newspaper and cast her in the Joan Crawford film My Saw What You Did. Afterward, Lane played the role of Elizabeth Granger in The Virginian for four seasons. She also appeared in three other movies, including Schoolgirl in Chains, The Trial of Billy Jack, and Billy Jack Goes to Washington, under the name Russell Lane. Following her retirement from acting, Lane and her husband started the Havens Winery in Napa. We extend our heartfelt condolences to Lane's family, friends, and fans. Tributes to Sarah Lane. Jerry Richardson, the founder and former owner of the Carolina Panthers and former NFL player for the Baltimore Colts, passed away on March 1, 2023, at the age of 86. He was the 154th player selected in the 1958 NFL draft but retired after his second season over a money dispute. Richardson is survived by his wife Rosalind and two children. His legacy in the NFL as a player, owner, and founder of the Carolina Panthers will always be remembered. Tributes to Jerry Richardson. Tom Sizemore, the American actor known for his roles in movies like Black Hawk Down, Saving Private Ryan, and Heat, passed away on March 3, 2023, at the age of 61. He was also nominated for a Golden Globe for his role in the 1999 TV movie Witness Protection and provided the voice of Mafia boss Sonny Fairley in Grand Theft Auto Vice City in 2002. Sizemore died of complications from a brain aneurysm. His remarkable acting skills and unforgettable performances will be missed by his fans. Tributes to Tom Sizemore. Yvonne Hluskova was a Czech actress and filmmaker who was nominated for the Radok Award twice and won it both times. She was born on June 6, 1960, and was an active member of the Goose on a String Theatre in B.R. Reno from 1981. In 2012, she was again pronounced Best Actress at the same awards ceremony for her role as Miris Love Taiki in the play Taiki Tarzan. Although she was originally a stage actress, she also acted in films including The Fortress 1994 and Boredom in B.R. Reno 2003, both of which were successful. Sadly, she passed away on March 6, 2023, at the age of 62. The cause of her death was not disclosed. Tributes to Ivana Luzkova. Michael Rhodes was a renowned American bass player known for his session work and touring contributions to other artists. He was born on September 16, 1953, in Monroe, Louisiana, United States. Rhodes played with Rodney Crowell, Stuart Smith, Eddie Bayers, and Vince Santoro in the Cicadas Band, recording one studio album in 1997. They had played together for over a decade. Rhodes was also a member of the Notorious Cherry Bombs. Along with Crowell, Bayers, Vince Gill, Hank DeVito, and Richard Bennett, he was inducted into the Musicians Hall of Fame and Museum in 2019. In 2016, Rhodes won the Bass Player of the Year Award from the Academy of Country Music and Arts. Unfortunately, 
He died of pancreatic cancer on March 4, 2023, at the age of 69. Tributes to Michael Rhodes. Maria Aneto, the Argentine actress known for her outstanding performances in movies like Monte Cristo, The Headless Woman, and The Heavy Hand of the Law, was found dead in her apartment in Buenos Aires on March 2, 2023, at the age of 56. The cause of her death is still unknown, but her legacy as a talented actress and her unique acting style will always be remembered. Tributes to Maria Aneto. David Lindley, the American singer and musician best known for his work with popular bands like Kaleidoscope and the Edis band El Rio X, passed away on March 3, 2023, at the age of 78. His cause of death has not been revealed yet. Lindley is incredible talent and passion for music will be missed by his fans and the music industry. Tributes to David Lindley. Lee Whitlock, the British actor known for his work on TV shows and movies like Shine on Harvey Moon, Two of Us, Grange Hill, and Sweeney Todd. The Demon Barber of Fleet Street passed away on the 17th of February 2023 at the age of 54. The cause of his death has not been revealed yet. Whitlock's contributions to the entertainment industry will be missed. Tributes to Lee Whitlock. Tom Whitlock, the Oscar-winning American songwriter known for the love song Take My Breath Away from the original Top Gun and for writing songs for popular movies like Beverly Hills Cop 2, Over the Top, and Rambo 3, passed away from Alzheimer's disease on the 18th of February 2023 at the age of 68. His remarkable talent and unforgettable songs will always be remembered. Tributes to Tom Whitlock. Jenny Cleave was a French actress who appeared in over 50 films and numerous television shows. She was best known for her work in movies such as Comfair Banks, One Deadly Summer, and Welcome to the Sticks. Cleave was married to actor Claude Tallpot. She passed away from natural causes on the 17th of February 2023 at the age of 92. Cleve's work in One Deadly Summer is particularly noteworthy as her portrayal of the grandmother and her critical acclaim and helped to elevate the film to a classic status. Jenny Cleave left behind a lasting legacy as a talented actress who contributed significantly to French cinema and television. Her performances were often praised for their authenticity and emotional depth, and she was highly respected by her peers in the industry. Tributes to Jenny Cleave. Falconer, the celebrated author and illustrator known for the Olivia series of children's books, passed away at the age of 63 on March 7. Originally created as a Christmas present for his young niece, the Olivia books feature the adventures of a clever and imaginative piglet and are distinguished by their simple and elegant design. The first book was published in 2000, and subsequently, seven sequels followed. In addition to his work on the Olivia series, Falconer designed 30 covers for The New Yorker and created costumes and sets for numerous theatre and ballet productions worldwide. Born in Ridgefield, Connecticut, he studied at New York University, the Possum School of Design, and the Otis College of Art and Design. 
Falconer's initial inspiration for Olivia came from his desire to create a special gift for his niece, a black and white piglet with bold dread accents. When he was presented with the opportunity to pitch a children's book to Simon and Schuster, where he had previously illustrated covers for The New Yorker, he was determined to publish Olivia. His debut book, Olivia, was released in 2000, followed by 11 additional titles featuring the beloved piglet. Falconer received numerous awards and accolades for his work on the Olivia series, including the Cal Decott Honor and a Children's Choice Book Award. The books also served as the basis for a Nickelodeon TV series and inspired several tie-in books that were not written by Falconer. Additionally, he continued to create stunning covers for The New Yorker and designed costumes and sets for notable productions such as The Santal and Diaries, Firebird, and The Nutcracker. Though he may be gone, Ian Falconer's legacy as a creator of beautiful and imaginative stories for children will live on, inspiring young readers to dream and explore the world around them. Tributes to Ian Falconer We hope you found this tribute to be a meaningful and heartfelt tribute to those who have left us. Remember, while they may no longer be with us physically, their legacies will continue to inspire us and impact our lives for years to come. Stay tuned for part two, where we will honor even more remarkable individuals who have left their mark on the world. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more inspiring content.